Welcome to the double summer edition 2017 of the CV News. We hope to see as many of you as possible in Vienna to celebrate CV at 25. And we also invite you to send your photos, videos and memories about CV so we can share them with everyone. In this special edition of the CV News, we're celebrating the EV Capital 2019 candidates. And you can find here the information and the photographs about the presentation of the three candidate certificates for Augsburg, Kashkais, and Kosice. The jury has been announced for the 2019 European Volunteering Capital, and you can find the list of names here. In the current European Volunteering Capital 2017 Sligo, they have been creating a method for counting volunteer hours. If you want to know more about the system, you can find out here. CV has been busy during the summer with the project about PREVENT, about volunteering with refugees in times of crisis. And CV has also just published the new EVEN employee volunteering workbooks in three different versions for employees volunteering in private time, volunteering during working time, and volunteering during team building events. You can download them for free here. The European Solidarity Corps and Youth Initiative public hearing took place in July in the Economic and Social Committee. And a group of volunteers were participating with CV in the Erasmus Plus project SCOLT, supporting the Colour Run. European Solidarity Corps CV members Julia and Helena have been present at the public hearing on the impact of the social dimension to the EU, and you can read more about that event here. Gabriela Civico, the CV director, has written an article about the European Solidarity Corps summarising opportunities and risks of the new initiative in the publication Voluntaris, and you can find the article here. The first edition of the Summer Camp, an initiative developed by the representation of the European Commission in Portugal, took place on the 29th of August, and CV European Solidarity Corps member Helena Gandra was one of the 40 young people selected to participate in the event. CV has also taken part in the SDG Watch Europe plenary meeting, and we will be discussing about how volunteers can support the sustainable development goals in the coming days. In July, European Solidarity Corps members Helena and Julia also attended the IJ Summer Cocktail, and CV members have been busy with the first training course of the EVS Realm Erasmus Plus project in Romania, and the Volunteer Centre Osiek, who is a member of CVCN in Croatia, is seeking two European Solidarity Corps volunteers from Belgium to join the Social Atelier EVS project in 2018. You can still apply and find all the information here. Eugenio Fonseca, President of the CV member Confederação Portuguesa do Voluntariado, has been doing an interview in a magazine, and you can feed the full interview here. Last year, Volunteer Ireland have been implementing a special commendation for volunteer managers, and now they've introduced a new award for groups to recognise the teams of volunteers across the country and the importance of teamwork. You can receive a special thank you card from Volunteer Ireland, and non volunteer and nominations will close at midnight on Friday the 6th of October. CV member Ethelon has been organising the first career day for people with disabilities in Greece, and the Eugenio del Meda Foundation CV member in Portugal has been celebrating their annual Open Day. In our series on volunteer impact, you can read what Aurora and Pasquale have to say about the volunteers that support them at their centre. And in EU News, you can read about the EU Aid Volunteers Initiative and give your opinion and feedback all about it. And you can see what DG ECHO has been undertaking a public consultation on the comprehensive evaluation of humanitarian aid and how the EU aid volunteers and volunteers contribute to this process. As part of the European Commission's White Paper on the Future of Europe, this reflection paper on social dimension has also been published. And in September, there's been a public hearing hosted by the ESC on financing of civil society organisations by the EU. In other news, and as part of the International African Child Day celebrations, the United Nations has published a new report, and you can see how the UN Online Volunteer Service has been supporting these procedures. The UN system has also developed a new volunteer initiative for their staff, and Independent Scholar News Journal has published an article about creating team and morale building relationships between staff members through voluntary service projects. In August, a new report based on recognising volunteer practices in Canada has been published, and the Alianza por la Solidaridad has opened vacancies to attend the third edition of the online volunteering course. 
to encourage Serbs 2017 volunteers to think about conceptions and misconceptions related to volunteering in developing countries, Serb has started a new volunteer blog and you can find it here. The Regional Youth Information Centre has published a new publication and consultation. And the social platform has published a new infographic about the facilitation directive. The Italian NGO GVC, together with nine European partners, has been participating in a project about more and better EU aid volunteers. And the registrations are open for Volunteer Europe's 26th annual conference, which will be an occasion to share practice and information about accessing rights and how volunteering can support social cohesion. You can register here. We hope you enjoy reading this month's double edition of the CV News.